Hello everyone, in today's video, we will be breaking down this reel. This is Ryan Reynolds, and in 2020, he became a billionaire using a strategy anyone can steal. While on the set of an ad, Ryan realized something. So let's get started. The first animation will be this text and this Ryan Reynolds and the image will be animated So and the shadow here. So how can we create this? I will go back to Premiere Pro. As you can see, our background is white. So I will just right click new item and then select uh, color made. Make sure to set the resolution to the real size 1080 by 920 and select the white color okay and then rename it and then again click okay bring it on your timeline now the image is on timeline i will just make sure to extend it now once this is done i will first bring in the ryan image and make sure to go to effects control simply scale it downwards to something like this and i will place it here now i will add a position keyframe at his point and move a few frames then simply just bring it to the middle like this so it will be giving us this animation as you can see the animation is not smooth so i will select both keyframes right click and then just select ease in now i will go to here and simply extend this graph and make sure to adjust this graph as like this and like this one so the at the start the image will be fast at the ending it will be slow like this so it's smooth now now once this is done we don't have any animation to this text so next we want to create the text ran and i will just add a new text layer simply type in this and i will make sure to make the first letters bold like this now i will select and i will show you in the font you can use i will go in text section you can use this font as well if you want or if you don't need this the best font i think it will be this one this one is looking cooler so you can just go to effects control and simply scale it up and place it here and then the last we have a comma so i will just type in this like this now this is our first and for the topography you can just copy this text and simply type in this is and now i will select it go to essential graphics and change this font to something simpler like uh, this one this is looking cooler so i will just place it right here this is looking cool now if we want we want first this is to appear then ryan reynolds next so i will just move this layer here so this will appear first and the text will appear and we just need to change the location of the text so it doesn't intersect with the image so this is like good so we can see our first will be like this now if we move forward we have this animation a black circle so how can we create that we need to go to this rectangle tool and i will press alt to change it to ellipse now what we need to do i will just hold control and make a circle like this one and now go to essential graphics and change this shape to this color like this now once this is done from here sorry we don't have to create the background so i will just go here and then go to effects control simply hit the scale keyframe and move this until it fits the screen and at the start it will become like this so it will be giving us this animation right here i will just bring it closer select both keyframes right click and then ease in them like this now to make them more smooth i will just bring the graphs to something like this this will make the animation uh, like this smoother like this one now if we move forward we have this 2020 text and he became millionaire so the text will be created now to create this money i will go to project and simply bring in this money falling png or you can say overlay right here now i will go to effects control and simply just bring it here go to essential graph effects control and simply change the blend mode to screen now what we need to do we need to get to the part where money falls down so i will select it and make sure to bring it here now i will press ctrl r 
and I will set its speed to 300. Make sure to go to optical flow for smooth animation like this. So it will be giving us this animation like this one and it have motion blur on it. You can create or you can just apply directional blur like this one. Go to effects control and simply just change these settings to something like this one. So it will be giving us this animation like this one now if we move forward we have this animation so how can we create that for that i will just delete this one and once we are here i will go back and select bring in the white background again now what i need to do i will go to facts control disable the uniform scale set a scale width keyframe and make the scale width to zero now if we move i will just make it to like this and i will select both keyframes and then simply just ease in so this will be like this if you want you can extend it to make the animation slower like this one now for this one i will just bring in this pawn image first i will make the timeline like this and i will make the pawn image appear like here once this is done so this will be appearing here i will go to effects control and simply just scale it up now for the text we have this effect so how can we create that i will just copy this ryan text to use as an example and i will go back and place it here now once this is now once the text is placed i will just go to essential graphics select the text and simply just scroll down and change this color to white like this one now go back to effects control simply go in the blend section change the blend mode to difference so our this text will be created now if we move forward we have this animation so how can we create that i will just move and delete the text for now like this one this is okay now i will cut this layer here and simply just make the pawn to something like and this one and make the scale a bit smaller like this and now if we play we have this animation but this is looking very odd so i will just go here and uh, new item and i will make adjustment layer make sure to just place it above this layer now if we want to just cut the adjustment layer to a certain part now i will i will make it five frame and then simply just place it here now i will go to effects and i will search for blur make sure to bring in gaussian blur to it go to effects control and simply at this point i will add a gaussian blur keyframe and that will be like this now if we move at the start it will be zero and if we move forward it will be again zero so it will be like this or i can just extend this to some part and now i will move keyframes like this one so it will be giving us this animation you can just make sure to just ease in them and it will be giving us this animation you can just make these keyframes play with these keyframes to get different results and if we move forward we have this one you can simply just place it here and this typography text so that's all for today i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you found it make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one until then take care and bye